The use of pneumatic tools is growing, both on the construction site and at home. Air compressors have become essential tools for professionals, and a gasoline air compressor can be easily transported and used on sites where no electrical power is accessible. This video will show you the proper startup, operation, and shutdown procedure for a gas-powered air compressor. Always operate this air compressor in a well-ventilated area, free of flammable vapors. As with all power equipment, always wear safety goggles and closed-toe shoes. Do not come in contact with the engine. Make sure the air compressor is on a flat surface, and check the compressor oil and engine oil level before each use. Check the fuel level. If you need to refuel, make sure the engine is off and cool. Make sure the belt guard and all covers are in place. Next, connect the air hose to the regulator valve. Connect your air tool to the hose. Now you are ready to start the air compressor. Move the red Easy Start lever on the pilot valve to the open position. Move the engine switch to the on position. Move the choke lever to the on position. Pull the recoil. Once the engine starts, move the choke to the closed position and the red lever to the closed position. Adjust the pressure to the tool PSI specification. Never exceed the pressure recommended by the tool manufacturer. Ideal for both contractors and remodelers, this single-stage air compressor provides a reliable air source on remote job sites. When you are ready to shut the air compressor down, move the engine switch to the off position. Drain the air from the tanks by pulling on the safety relief valve. Once the air tank pressure gauge registers under 10 pounds, open the drain valve under each tank to remove any moisture. Allow the air compressor to cool down.